Good morning. Welcome to day nine. Today we want to pray for families. Uh, as you probably know, there's a lot of things we could pray when it comes to families. Um, we could pray for the quality of the relationship, communication, unity in the home. We could pray for the health of the family, the financial uh, issues revolving the, the home, the children, the parenting, uh, all of that. We could pray for many things in a uh, family. Um, but, but one of the things I want to pray today, and we're going to pray for all of these things, we're going to pray as well for single people, is that they would we would all find our happiness in Jesus. You know, a lot of times when we meet with couples or going to challenges, oftentimes you look at the, try to find the root, the source of the problem. And sometimes you find that one of the roots is because they're, the husband is kind of expecting the wife to bring him happiness. And the wife is expecting her husband to bring her happiness. But, you know, that's a big burden to put on someone, a big um, expectation because, you know, men and women are, you know, you're, you're going to come short of that. And uh, I'd like to propose today that only Jesus can satisfy and bring true happiness uh, inside of your soul, your your life, the joy of the Lord, the peace of God. And so I want to pray for kind of a contentment in uh, families, um, children, parenting. So let's pray today. Lord, we come today. We understand that family, there could be challenges in family. Uh, but today we also know that a family is a blessing, whether it's marriage, whether it's children, parenting, whether it's, um, you know, dad, mom. Um, Lord, thank you for families. It's, it's a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful blessing. And uh, today we just pray for protection over the family. We pray for quality in the family. We pray that uh, uh, any family that may be struggling, with it, whichever area they're struggling in, we ask for your help, for your word says from the first pages of our Bible that it's not good for man to be alone. And uh, the solution for that was uh, to, to send him a wife, to send him Eve. And we pray today that as we have the blessing of not being alone, Thank you, Lord, for uh, blessing the homes, blessing the families, blessing the marriage, blessing the children, blessing the single person. I pray for the single person, Lord, that they would, uh, they would, in due time, they would get married with the right person. But in the meantime, they would find their contentment in Christ. They would find their happiness in Christ. Uh, same thing with the spouses. I pray that they would not put that burden on their spouse to bring them happiness because, Lord, they're going to come short. So I pray that we would be able to find our happiness in Jesus. And then as we are well with the Lord, as we are at peace with the Lord, as we have the joy of the Lord, we could then bring that joy to our spouse. We bring it to our children. We bring it to those around us. So, Lord, thank you for a divine protection upon the homes. We understand that there's a, an enemy that hates families united and uh, hates marriage, hates any principle of God because he hates God. But we also know that, Lord, you're protecting homes. You're protecting family. We say like Joshua, Lord, we've decided that me and my house shall serve the Lord. We pray that our kids would serve the Lord. We pray that our husbands would serve the Lord. Our wives would serve the Lord. And that together as a, as a family, we all have a role to play, all different uh, responsibilities, but that we would serve the Lord. We pray husbands would love their wives like Christ loved the church and respect their wives. We pray wives would respect their husbands and love their husband. We pray children would obey their parents. We pray for parents that would walk in step of the Spirit uh, with their, their uh, training of their children and education and discipline of their children, with everything be done in love and in truth. We thank you for families. Bless the families of our church and all those who are joining us during this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.